Hi everyone, welcome to a new how to be basic on how to fix your closet. When I say fix, I mean filtering out things you don't need and also filtering out things you might want to sell. My whole mentality is that I want to keep my closet as if it looks like a high-end store. For example, if you go into a Zara and you look at the new items, everything's pretty limited. They only put out three to four items of the same style out. When you go during the sale time, they put out a lot of clothes and that just makes you feel so tense there's so much to look at and I don't end up looking at the sale items like I don't have time to look through that that is why I want to help you out in fixing out your own closet by giving you a couple of tips when you go into your closet and then you pick out one item the first question I am ever going to ask when I look through my closet is have I worn it within the last two months if I have worn it within the last two months great if I haven't then you really need to think, will I wear it in the future? If you're gonna wear it within the next week or two weeks later, then yes, you can keep it. But if you haven't, then you should really consider selling it or donating it. You want your clothes to serve a purpose, and if they don't serve a purpose of you wearing them, and then you shouldn't have it in the first place. Tip number two is looking at whether you have any pattern clothes, any loud colors. Those are really tricky because people will actually remember those outfits. So let's say for example, I have this banana outfit. Now I've worn this a couple of times. People have mentioned, oh, you're wearing the banana outfit again. And I'm like, yeah, I am. The sub tip for pattern and loud outfits is if you are going to purchase it, you need to be fearless and not care about what other people think because it really doesn't matter if you wear an outfit again. So think about it this way. You bought the pattern outfit because it looks nice. Why do you only want to wear it once? You should be able to parade it multiple of times because you love the pattern so much. So just keep re-wearing it until it served this purpose. If it's good and you've only worn it once, you haven't shared it with every single person. There are more than 10 people in this world. So share it with the other millions of people that you pass by. Your loud and patterned outfits. The third tip that I have has to do with fitting. There will be a time when you get older and sometimes you might gain weight, you might lose weight, doesn't matter. The point is your clothes are gonna be ill-fitting. The purpose of clothes is to make you look good. If you're wearing ill-fitting clothes, it might hurt you or it just looks too baggy. Like if someone wears a bigger size than they usually are, it makes them look short. So for example, I have these pants I got two years ago and I think it just shrunk. I guess like over time when you wash it, it might shrink. So someone who has a smaller waist size than me can definitely benefit from it. So I could definitely sell it online because the quality is still great. But you really need to make sure whether your clothes fit you. But don't be a hoarder and keep clothes for the future or for the past. Try your best not to keep clothes that you are not brave enough to wear because they'll just sit in your closet and they won't live their life to their fullest. So the fourth tip that I have is filtering through your accessories, socks, intimates, t-shirts, Bombay clothes, you know, that kind of stuff. The term that I learned just a few moments ago is when your clothes have become bacon. Now, you know when you cook bacon, right? It's one slab of nice slimy meat. And then when you cook it, it shrivels up. So if you look at your socks and it's shriveled up and like really thin, it served this purpose. Now, if you look at your underwear and the garter is loose or it's not, you know, as tight as it should be, you get rid of it. So yeah. That's it. The last and most important tip is things that are sentimental, which means things that bring joy to you, things that bring memories, things that you're just keeping it there because it's nice to remember. There are different hacks on keeping those memories alive, taking a picture of the clothes and putting it in a folder. That way you can sell the outfit and profit from it and other people can also share nice memories with it. If you have anything sentimental that you're just keeping there for memories, you should try to get rid of it because sentimental is hoarding and hoarding means more clutter and it makes you feel stressed and anxious. I'm not saying to get rid of all the sentimental things because I have my fair share of sentimental things that I have kept. For example, I have kept a bunch of t-shirts that I've made in high school and they're all in that one drawer there which I'm going to make into a quilt. At least in this way, I can remember all my beautiful memories in one blanket quilt thingy. Now that you've heard all these tips, we need to figure out what you can do with all these items that you have just picked up from your closet. 
one way to do that is to donate your items. Now, when you donate your items, you need to consider, well, is it practical for the person you are donating it to? Second, if whether or not you can sell it. If you can't sell the item because it's not as trendy or people aren't that interested, try to donate it and someone else will appreciate it. If you cannot donate your items, you can upcycle your clothes. What do I mean by upcycling? It means that you can either cut out the clothes straps and use it as a mop or use it to clean items. Another way of upcycling is collecting a bag and donating it to a facility that will recycle the material and use it to make new clothes. And the third and final thing is to sell your clothes. There are clothes that you have that are really expensive and you might not want to donate it yet or you might want not want to just completely get rid of it, so you sell it. And a great platform that we have here in the Philippines is Carousel. It is an app which allows you to sell secondhand clothes and there are a lot of people on that platform so it gives you the chance to sell a lot of things. So for example, if you have a nice dress that you wore once and you don't really want to wear it again, then you can sell that. Or if you have a t-shirt that doesn't really fit you anymore, it's a bit loose on you, then you can sell that as well. Selling your clothes on Carousel is just as easy as finding clothes. You can even trade your items if you don't want to spend any money. So I've sold plenty of things on the Carousel app already. You can check out my account if you want to see some of the clothes that I am selling to people. You can also check out some of the clothes my mom's selling because I sell on the same platform. It's Penelope Pop Art. You can find me over there, over there, over there. One tip that I have though when you are selling your items is that you take a picture of it of you wearing it. It is a lot more work but it is faster to sell because people can see how it fits. I mean if they just see a picture of it on a rack, it'll be a lot harder to sell and most likely people will ask how it looks on a body. There are a lot of people that are selling their clothes and that's also a great way to save the environment is buying secondhand clothes and it is very very likely that someone will sell something really nice for a cheaper price because it is harder to sell at its original price. Those are my five tips on how you can cleanse your closet. I do highly recommend you getting a carousel app as well and it will help you kind of earn a little bit of money on the side. So if you have any questions about what you can do about your closet, you can message me down there in the comment section and I shall see you next time. See ya!